It's updating their anti-violence strategies after a particularly bloody Monday. Sean Lewis joins us live from police headquarters with more on what they had to say. Sean. Yeah, Ben Lord is 16 people shot in Chicago yesterday, four of them in just one incident. And despite those numbers from yesterday, the city says things are getting better. Crime, always a big city problem, including Chicago today. We cannot and we will not let violence become commonplace. Police Superintendent David Brown highlighting what he considers to be wins in the fight against the worst. According to the latest numbers, shootings are down 8%. Homicides at just over 100 so far in 2022 are down 4% compared to this time last year, though in 2021, Chicago saw the highest number of murders it had in 25 years. One of the latest double homicides happened Monday afternoon when four men were shot at 79th and Stony Island. Two of those men, one 23, the other 32, died. We uh, strongly believe that people from the neighborhood know who the defendant is, uh, and the Area 2 detectives are just looking for some additional information to help identify this suspect. So Police did capture three suspects, though, just hours after a carjacking on Chicago's west side. A 50-year-old man had his car taken by force, police say, in the 3500 block of West Adams. The suspects now facing multiple felonies are just 12, 13, and 14 years old. So we can not and we will not ever let crime and violence go unchecked regardless of your age. This cannot be the norm for our children or our young people and I personally want more for them. We have to give our kids and young people safe neighborhood neighborhoods as well as the options and tools to better make to make better decisions. Superintendent also reiter reiterating the CPD tip line that people can call anonymously with their information on crimes and then get a cash reward if that information leads to an arrest. The number is on your screen. It's 833-408-0069. We are live at Chicago Police Headquarters tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News.